Hello, Aquarius. This is for you, air sign Aquarius. How are you? Let's see what comes out for you this July 2014. This is for the sun sign in Aquarius, the sign you were born under also for the rising sign and for the north node so if your north node is Aquarius then you need to be moving in the direction of the most positive aspects of the Aquarius sign so everyone has traits positive and not so positive right so let's see what the stars have to say or the cards rather has have to say for you this month of July 2014. So let's see. One more. I want to make sure that I shuffle this really good. I've been shuffling these cards making the videos. And I'm going to cut it now. And I'll let you know about the full moon and the new moon this month. All right. And how you can apply it. We have the five of staves. Okay, and I'm using the Morgan Greer deck, so let's see. I'm feeling that there is a lot of more of a, a challenge where it's allowing you to really see how strong you are and, and what you can put up with but maybe now the strength that you've been expressing for so long and maybe it's for your whole life and feeling more it's your your life path that that's coming through for this reading it's more like your life path like how have you been been dealing with your life and your experiences how do you handle everything in your life and right now it's catching up with you and you are looking for a new way of dealing with your life even if you've been on a more spiritual path for a couple of years or you've been very much more aware than others because with with your air sign Aquarius you have some water um, energies and as for an air sign you're naturally more intuitive because the Aquarius energy has a lot of water essence to it so more than all the air signs you're very intuitive so you're naturally will be more spiritual no matter what however the way you've been living your life it's gonna catch up with you with how you just deal with yourself your life work a relationship on every aspect so right now you are going through a shift where it's not like you don't need to compete with um, yourself or play mind games with yourself and you're not you don't care too much what anyone thinks that much deeply anymore you're going through a very non-caring um, personality and it's going to empower you so make sure you stay in control of that energy of not worrying so much of what others think and especially with family anyone close to you anyone close to you whether it's family or friends okay so any kind of family rivalry or work problems I feel that that you are recognizing it more and, and willing to let go of it now with the full moon coming up on the 12th of July in Capricorn is the earth sign so this is a great time for you to get grounded um, set boundaries for yourself in dealing with others um, self-respect for yourself this is more for you and with the full moon it's a great time to do any kind of meditation you want so even if you feel like this might not be the right wording the right focus point you're gonna find out what you feel that you need to meditate on to give you more more peace of mind and ask around because if you're not really sure on how to do it the meditation find some kind of event that is 
gear around med meditation and take that into a practice for this coming full moon. Then the new moon is on the 26th of July, and that's in Cancer, so your sister brother water sign. <laughs> and at the new moon, it's a great time to draw things towards you that you feel you need right now. And I want to back up and say at the full moon, continue that meditation up till the, the 26th, okay? So that's for everybody's video. You know, all the 12 videos for July, I want to say. And for every every moon cycle, just continue it until the next. And then you go into a new one, a new meditation. So for the new moon on the 26th of July, you want to focus on compassion for yourself. Because with the five of stays this is like competition um, it's a lot of bickering of um, just a lot of non agreeing a lot of struggle whatever that struggle is for you um, for for power maybe someone's too controlling whatever it is whatever that represents for you okay this compassion is you filling yourself with it protecting yourself protecting your energy all right if you're in the Las Vegas area, I do yoga workshops on the cycles of the moon, so definitely check out the web page and the other links. And uh, feel free to call me for your own personal readings. And uh, I hope to see you guys next month. Have a wonderful, wonderful July, and be safe.